Sig one to two, so he scored it. Whoa! What? <laughs> what the hell just happened? So a few days ago, I was scrolling on my cell phone and I came across a video entitled God Level Workers or something like that. I actually forgot the title, but basically it was a compilation of a bunch of workers who had God-like skills in their field of endeavor or their work. And a few of these people were construction workers who exhibited some God-like skills where they could just like, you know, they were doing a bunch of incredible stuff that normal construction workers wouldn't typically be able to do. So basically today we are going to react to some incredibly skilled and super fast construction workers. So let's just get into it, shall we? Okay, so this first video is entitled Good Craftsmanship Work. So let's just watch it. Okay, so there's a bearded guy hammering a bunch of nails, dual wielding. So for those of you who are a fan of Avengers, yeah, here's real life Thor with real hammers and he can strike down nails in two shots. Okay, so this is what Thor would be doing in case he wasn't hired back into the Avengers. So yeah, now you know where Thor went. Are you Thor, the god of hammers? Hmm? Next, so this is entitled the way these bricks line up and how quickly they do it. Okay, so these are some extremely coordinated people. Can you imagine if that one guy just forgot to look back and he gets hit by two bricks and just falls asleep on the ground? So, yeah, but super impressive how they are so coordinated. That's amazing, dude. He missed. He missed one brick. Nope. Okay. Oh, dude. These guys are real good. Next video. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, and it shows two dudes carrying one dude who's holding a special trowel for sidewalks. So yeah, that's that's one way to do it. If you don't have a special extension handle or something on the trowel, just get one of your buddies and carry his legs. Moving on. Okay, it's a guy stacking bricks on top of his head. Whoa, it's getting real high now. It's like Brick Jenga. Whoa! Okay, whoa! Oh my dude! How, can he have one more? Can he get one more? Oh no, he can't. Oh no, he's gonna put another. What? How strong is this guy's neck, man? Whoa. Okay, don't tell me he's gonna place another one. What? How does he do that, man? He's like carrying a ton of bricks. That's like probably 40 kilos worth of bricks on top of his head. And the other workers behind him was just watching him. Oh man, here comes Rahid again with his super special brick carrying abilities. Such a show off. <laughs> I just imagine that's what they would say behind his back. Next. Okay, so this is called Creative Builder. Whoa. Whoa. What? <laughs> Like, oh my dude. Like, how is he able to carry all that cement and just flick it in? It's the largest trowel I've ever seen. And then he goes on and smooths it. Oh dude, so that's one sign that the dude is next level if he doesn't wear any protective gear, no shirt, no helmet, no problem. So my dude is a master of cement laying. I'm not really sure how smooth his work is because again, the video is potato quality, but yeah, in terms of speed, this dude is number one. He was number one. Let us move on. So we have one dude spraying and the other dude running a roller on it. So the reason why one dude is spraying and another dude is doing the roller thingy because oftentimes sprays aren't really that smooth. Sometimes there will be large blotches of paint and it's going to drip and create some weird bubbles on your paint. So you need someone to roll over it again with a paint roller. So yeah, that's the reason. Next, installing a wooden floor. Oh man, we need one of these tools. Just smack it around. 
Okay, this this guy is real fast. Okay, so quick fact: this floor style is called TNG or tongue and groove. So TNG for short, which means the wood has pre-made tongues and grooves where the tongue will slip into the slot of the groove, making it easier. So he's probably using some sort of pneumatic air pressure nail gun thingy assist. It's actually my first time to see that, so I don't know what it's called, but it's like a stapler on steroids. Also, my dude's wearing some awesome Tom's shoes. So that's how you know they're pro when they can afford Tom's. Next video. So this is called Amish Barn Racing 10R Time Lapse. Whoa. That's a ton of construction workers. I mean, Amish people. So if my knowledge is correct, I, I think Amish people don't have electricity. So I'm guessing they didn't use any power tools on this. Which is super amazing. Do they not use electricity? Amish? I don't know, man. All I know is they got beards and these cool hats and they don't use computers and stuff like that. But I'm not sure if they, they can't use electricity. Weird, that thing must have fallen straight from space. Well, good luck with the future ride, spaceman. Moving on. Okay, this is called efficient unscrewing a big nut. That's what she said. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that dude's a genius, man. I don't know who came up with this, the guy in front or the guy at the back, but that's just, that's just genius, what? So they're also doing it nonchalantly like the other guys just, yeah, man, this is just normal for me. Big brain stuff, you know? And the other guy was just like, whoa, it's working, my dude, it's working, yeah! The other guy seemed more excited than the other guy, so. Next thing, if my guess is correct, this guy is spraying some expanding foam. Yep, it's expanding foam. And ooh, I don't know why, but that looks appetizing to me. It's like a bunch of ice cream and you know, you could just scoop it up. I probably shouldn't work anywhere near this. So this is usually for insulation purposes or soundproofing. I wish we had this type of technology in the Philippines, but uh, usually these are super expensive because you know, it's not normally used. So the demand is low. And when demand is low for a luxury product that drives the prices up, economics. <laughs> I'm not sure if what I said was correct. Let's move on. Whoa, whoa, what? How is he doing that? How is he even? I'm not sure if this is fast forwarded. I can't even write properly, but this guy does it with some sort of rotary ball thing. So I'm not sure what he's doing is like for a memorial or a menu to a Chinese restaurant, but yeah, let's move on. Master oiling the floor. Whoa, whoa, dude, my dudes. Thor found another calling. He's now doing floors. Oh, dude, that's so satisfying. The way he just wipes the oil and stuff and the way it makes the wood shiny. So if Thor was ever to venture into the construction business, I'm guessing he will do good. Also, his business could be called Thor. We do your floor or something. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, he put that oil on the floor. So good, man. It's like buttering some sort of floor sandwich makes no sense god damn it leon what's wrong with you let us move on all right this is called precise cutting and perfect fit oh, i think i saw this already in facebook so basically what he's doing is he's creating a stencil on the tile using geometry and extreme big brain knowledge so let's watch how he does it okay creating a bunch of lines with another tile. No need for T-squares and all that kinds of stuff and measuring stuff, that's just for nerds. This guy's just using a tile in the floor and some sort of tile cutting machine. So the reason why he used a tile cutting machine before using this angle grinder with a diamond tip, it's because if you don't put a slit on the tile, it has a higher chance of breaking and chipping on the edges. So the edges aren't going to be as clean as that. So yeah, that's the reason why he used that tile cutting machine too score it first so yeah and of course it's a perfect fit so i don't know how many times they videoed this also i don't know how many tiles this dude practiced on but i won't even pretend to know how he did it i don't i don't know it's just a bunch of do this line and the tile and the thing mobobbins and voila i did it <laughs> geometry something like that but yeah amazing dude i can't even do that next okay it's another dude throwing cement two stories above his head so can you imagine if he missed and hits the other dude wearing the yellow coat and that dude falls on him? 
My dude's got some cement throwing skills, man. I bet this dude has a good throwing arm. He can shoot threes like Steph Curry from the half court. Like, swoosh. Ain't no thing, man. That's amazing, my dude. I, I'm not even gonna question the kitchen gloves. Next, what? That dude's wearing super high stilts. That's amazing, both of them have stilts. Oh, dude, that's super cool. I wish some of my workers knew how to do this. That way they don't have to put up scaffolds and stuff like that. They could just walk around in stilts and, you know, paint the ceiling and stuff in stilts. That's super cool. Okay, so this is called, he must be a whiz in a construction site. Okay, so it's two dudes, whoa. What the frick just happened? Okay, so this other dude, don't tell me he can also do it. Okay. <laughs> he freaking missed. And he used the wrong side of the hammer. Let me just rewatch that. What? What the hell? What? The that other dude just hammered a nail with the pointy side of the hammer. It's not even the blunt side. He used the pointy side of the hammer, my dudes. Not that you could use that in a construction site, but still. A pretty cool party trick. Next video! Okay, this next video is called Breaking Glass. So I'm guessing he's going to break the glass. So he scored it. Whoa! What? <laughs> what the hell just happened? What? Did he just do that to the glass like it was a piece of cloth or something? He just... And the glass just... Okay, so he scored the glass first. But the amazing part is how he how he cuts the glass. So usually when you cut a huge piece of glass like this, you would like lay a thin layer or a thin ruler beneath it and just put pressure on both ends. But this guy just does it nonchalantly like I can just watch this over and over my dudes. <laughs> I'm guessing that's the sound effects. Next video, shoveling team. Whoa, that dude carrying the frying pan, tossing the gravel into the cement mixer. So mesmerizing guys, this whole recording is probably two hours now because I kept getting mesmerized by the workers. It's like if Michael Jordan was a construction worker, he'll be, he'll be this dude catching gravel passes and throwing it into the hoop, which is the cement mixer. Let's move on. I'm making no more sense than just rambling. Talented bricklayers. What the Shiba? The way that dude makes it all artistic and stuff. So that's a cool way to do it. If I was to meet these dudes on the street, I would think that they are going to break me in half with their bare hands. Like, what you looking at? Carry me and just break me in half in their knee or something like that. But right there at the end, it's just so good, man. Anyways, if there was something to learn or something to take from these videos we just watched, that is to be passionate about your work. So I know it sounds a little bit cheesy or maybe even cliche to be passionate about your work, but trust me, that is what separates great work from mediocre work. Just discover your own thing. Everybody has their own formula for their life. I'm not gonna tell you guys what to do. You are grown ass people. Anyways, this outro is probably super long now. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on my next architectural video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below for more videos like this. My me, your boy, Liam. Flying peace.